close to the fire, your truck gets damaged. If you're not close enough, you can't fight the fire. I'm District Chief Brian Coward with St. Tammany Parish Fire District 9, Bush, Louisiana. Today's lesson is pump operations for engine 94. This is engine 94. It was a 1997 Spartan chassis built by Ferrara Fire Apparatus. It's a 1,250 gallon per minute pump with a 1,200 gallon tank. We carry two cross lays, two suction hoses. It has a hose reel on the front and a hose bed in the back with all of our larger diameter hose and a deck gun for large volumes of water shooting long distances. It, this engine operation is going to be for a remote location, not fighting the fire, but filling tankers. It will be the fill site. This engine will be filling tankers, drafting from a dry hydrant. This is a dry hydrant. It's called a dry hydrant because It's dry. There's water down in there, but it's down at the level of that pond. It's not pressurized, so we have to draft out of this. We have to suck the water out. This is a 8-inch pipe here. goes down into the pond and has a big strainer on it. It goes down to a 6-inch pipe here, and this is what we hook to, and that can hook to the side of the engine right here. You can, at this particular location, hook up both dry hydrants at the same time and draft from two. If you were trying to pump 1,250 gallons a minute that this truck is capable of, you would need to have both hooked up. The difference between this and a regular hydrant is a regular hydrant has pressurized water in it. It actually pushes the water out. You would hook that to the other side and your left intake. This is your left intake. Notice it's color-coded black. This is where you would hook up a, dry, a live hydrant to with a three inch hose. You can also, some departments have large hookups here for large diameter hose. We have one usable set of hydrants, it's at the school, and this is more than adequate to do what we need to do with it. You can draft from a dry hydrant such as this using a large diameter suction hose. You can also draft from a pond using a floating strainer. This is a floating strainer. The hose connects right here on this end. This is the float that faces up and it drafts water right out of the pond. First step is going to be once you've got the truck positioned, need to get the large diameter suction hose down and hook it up between the pump intake and the dry hydrant. We're going to need a hammer out of the operator's compartment. We're going to take loose. Too short to reach, open the compartments and step up on them. It's normally a two man job, but if you're by yourself, it can be accomplished with one person. Roll up and let it flop. why it's normally a two-person job. It's difficult to do with one person. Can be accomplished with one person. Don't be afraid to hold it with your legs. Grab the other end. Standard threads. There's nothing reverse about it. They're big threads and almost impossible to cross thread. 
Give it a couple of whacks with a hammer. Same thing over here. Now there's air in here. Once we start pulling a draft, pulling suction on this, we will get as much of the air out as possible. Next step is to open the pump for draft. This is the butterfly valve. All of our trucks have them on it. Not all trucks do. If you run up on one that does not have it, the pump has to be shut down before you can put this hard suction line on. Pump operations. This is your pump panel. This is where you can control the, the pump and where all the water is going. Inputs, outputs, everything. Since we're drafting, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that all valves are closed except for the butterfly valve on the side that we just opened. We're going to, going to go with the uh, go over all the levers, left side of the panel first. If number two discharge, notice the color coding. The, the thick stickers on the outside are also color coded. Number four discharge, right rear discharge. That's the one in the back on the right hand side as the driver looks at it. So the left, right hand side for the pump operator is actually the left hand side. Lower speed lay. Then we have the hose reel, which is on the front bumper. Then we have the deck gun. Each of these has a pressure gauge for each one. Discharge, 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 discharge. This one here is for the deck gun. This one here is for the hose reel. The hose reel was added to this truck after it was built. On the other side, this is your tank to pump. You have a 1,200 gallon tank back there. In order to be able to pull water out of it, you have to open the tank to pump. That allows the water to go from the tank to the pump. Tank refill and recirculator. This is what you open when you need to fill your tank back up if you're drafting and you want to fill your tank back up. Or you can open it when you're just pumping out of the tank if you're just recirculating the water to keep the pump cool. Your upper speed lamp. Number three discharge, number one discharge, and your left intake. Now, left intake is not a discharge. This is if you were to hook to a live hydrant. You would open this. That goes directly into the pump. You have a pressure gauge for your upper speed lay, number three, and number one discharge. Here, here, and here. You don't have a pressure gauge for your left intake because that's going to come here. You'll notice you also have gauges for your water temperature. That's your engine water temperature and oil, your engine oil pressure. This, this pump runs off of the truck engine. Interior controls. You have two on off switches here. Turn them both off. Press button start. Start the engine. You'll notice here that your gear shift is in neutral. Your brake is set for parking. Pull out on that. To change it from road gear to pump gear. Pull the yellow tab back. Flip it all the way down. Green light comes on, means that you're ready to go ahead and put it in drive to allow it to pump. Back over here to drive, press it once. The truck itself will automatically select the proper gear for it to be in. All valves are closed, and we pull up on this. Now you can hear that whining sound. Uh, 
about 75 PSI. It's having no trouble pulling a vac, pulling this up. It's running very little vacuum. If we want to increase our pressure, we throttle up. About 100 PSI right there. because I don't have it all the way open. If I open it all the way, now it's running 100 PSI. Those two should be pretty close together. Slowly open your deck gun. You can either use that or use the hose reel here. It's always a good circulation. You want to keep the water circulating through the pump to keep the pump cool. Always want to be running water with it if you are drafting, otherwise you can lose your prime and have to reprime and run this whole scenario all over. Once you have your prime, you can fill up your own tank with the tank refill here. Or you can use any discharge you want, any of the discharges over here. All of your discharges are color-coded and numbered. This is the throttle. You'll have your engine at about 1,200 RPMs. RPM gauge is right there. You want your engine at about 1,200 RPMs when you're pulling a draft. You do that by throttling up counterclockwise. Throttling down clockwise, and you can also, once you've got a draft and you are drafting and running water, you can keep your pressure set wherever you need to with your throttle. If there is an emergency, you hit it on top like this to shut it back down to, to idle. If it's nighttime, your pump panel lights are right here. Panel lights. Your engine cooler and pump cooler, we don't have to worry about freezing temperatures here. It helps to keep the engine and the pump cooled off so they don't overheat. Pressure relief valve is right here. Counterclockwise, turn it counterclockwise to go lower, turn it clockwise to go higher. If you have your pressure relief valve set at 150 and you need to go to 180, you need to increase it. If you want it kept at 100 PSI and you have two or three lines out, you might want to decrease it to where it opens at 100. That can be uh, adjusted while you're pumping. To shut it down, you bring your pump down to idle, put your pump in neutral, close all your valves, and that's it, it's shut down. Okay. Take it out of pump gear, you press neutral first, till it says neutral, till it says end. Hear that the engine is in neutral, reach down here, flip this all the way up, and it pops back into drive gear. Now you can get in the driver's seat, take your parking brake off, and drive it. Okay, we're gonna shut down the operation and bring the truck back down to idle. Set that all the way down. Close all valves. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the truck. Put the truck in neutral. It now says neutral on both sides. We come over here. Go from pump 
back to road gear. Truck's back in road gear. Now we disconnect everything, roll it up, put it all away, and we're ready to roll. And this concludes pump operations for engine 94 drafting. Okay, in review. Drafting evolution for engine 94. We started out with positioning the, the engine in the proper spot so that we could hook up the six inch draft, six inch suction hose. We have the truck running, we put it into pump gear, we went back onto the operator's panel, pulled the primer for draft. Once we got a draft, opened up our flow, and we have kept it flowing. Keeping it flowing keeps the pump cool and maintains your draft. If you lose prime, you have to start all over and reprime the whole system. This, with a team, should take three to four minutes at the most. And that's hooked up with two lines coming out for trucks to be filled with. Now to shut this all down, bring it back down to idle, close all of our valves, put our truck back in neutral, shift back to road gear, disconnect everything, roll everything up and put it away.